All right, today we're going to be looking at 3-1, and right now I have the textbook pulled up. Uh, the first question is asking us about statements. So I'm not actually writing down the definitions, but I want you to be able to come to the textbook and see them. Let me show you uh, just how I got here. So from, from within my math lab, I went to question help and uh, textbook, and it pulled up the textbook. So that's what I'm looking at right here. And I just want you to see a statement is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both simultaneously. So that's what you need to know for a statement. It's something that is either true or false, but not both. Okay, so the first few questions are going to ask us about statements. And um, I just kind of been looking through the answer choices. So we want to decide whether the following is a statement or is, the, is it not. Uh, and we have April 6, 2011 was an exhausting day. Okay, so this is not something that I can say is either true or false. Okay, uh, it's possible that it could be exhausting for you, but not for me. And um, if we look at these answer choices, this one says it is a statement because it's true or false. And we can't look up that and actually say that it's going to be true all the time or false all the time. So it says it's not a statement because it is either true or false. And then we have uh, the sentence is a statement because it's, it's an opinion and it's not a statement because it's an opinion. So um, D would probably be more logical. You probably want to be choosing between B or, or D. <clears throat> but this one is going to be not, the sentence is not a statement because it's an opinion. Um, it could be either one of those, uh, true or false, depending on a person's opinion of that day. Um, Okay, and then number two, we have something similar. Decide whether uh, the statement is a statement or not. The sentence is a statement or not. Um, and Marion, Wyoming is in a valley. So this is actually something we can go look up and find its location on a map, see if it's in a valley or not. So this statement either will be true or it will be false. Okay, there's no opinion here. So this sentence is a statement because it is either true or false. It's either one or the other, okay? Um, you wouldn't say that it's not a statement because it's either true or false. This would be the definition of a statement. So I think I was saying you want to pick between those and one, but if it's either true or false, that means it would be a statement. So that one's going to be thrown out. Uh, it contradicts the definition of what it means to be a statement. So B looks like the best answer choice here. We can actually see, is it in the valley? Yes, so it's true, or is it not? And we can say it's false.